Yo, what is good? Jay Flaker here, and if you have seen pretty much any part of NBA Twitter, you probably saw that the Nets added once again another big name player to the super team. Pretend it was 2016 and I had just told you that Kyrie, Harden, KD, Blake, LaMarcus Aldridge, Joe Harris, and DeAndre Jordan were all on the team. If I told you that in 2019, I'd probably get called a retard. At this fucking point, the Brooklyn Nets should just come out to the NWO theme song. Because they're literally the NWO of basketball. And trust me out here, if the Brooklyn Nets don't win the championship this year, the backlash will be insane. Oh, you think LeBron losing in the finals was bad? Oh, no, no, no. If the Nets lose in the finals this year, NBA Twitter will fucking obliterate the app. All NBA fan bases will join together and unite to slander the absolute living shit out of the Nets. It's at a point where even if you want a chance to win, you have to add this motherfucker, bro. This is the only chance you have to win. And even then, your chances are pretty slim. But ladies and gentlemen, it's enough of me talking about how the Brooklyn Nets are the NWO of basketball because it is time for NBA Twitter at its finest. The game we all loved is real. I'm not even watching the NBA anymore. This shit is rigged. This next one I'm not reading, so I'm just gonna have Google Translate translate it for you. I am a fat tubby bitch who dick rides LeBron and I don't know much about basketball, but I go on Twitter and act like I do. Oh my god, I just got signed to the Brooklyn Nets. Wait, hold on. BRB, BRB, be right back, I'm about to beat my me. BRB, BRB, be right back, I'm about to beat my me. Alright, I hope that joke doesn't get taken too seriously, guys. It's just a joke, okay? It's just a joke. But, point being, if the Nets don't win a chip this season, it's the biggest failed super team of all time. My stance on this is, since I'm a Warriors fan, I don't like it that much because, you know, obviously... The Nets have pretty much their work cut out for them winning the chip, but you can't take away that most most teams have had a super team before, and taking that all away and just forgetting about the super teams of the past does not make any sense to me. It's pretty much a lose-lose situation for the Nets because if they win, they'll get slandered. If they lose, they'll get even more slandered. So all in all, it's a big, fat, juicy L for the Nets. So yeah, that's my stance on all this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. New videos coming soon and I'm out. Peace.